So in this webinar, we will talk about large data processing in Proteus. Um, first of all, large data can be handled by different means, whether you have enough memory or not. In order to process the data with filtering, segmentation, uh, and maybe separation of features, one normally would need approximately four times the size of the data in memory. So um, for the data we are going to look at in this webinar, which is 135 gigabytes, one would need more than 500 gigabytes of memory, which is a big amount that is not usual on standard workstations. Instead, we will use the LDA format and will process the data set by slabs, allowing us to use only a few amount of memory. The LDA format, which means uh, large data access, allows to visualize instantaneously a data set regardless of its size or the hardware capabilities of the workstation. Combining with the slab processing that is implemented in Perjures, this is a powerful method to visualize and process a large data with a low amount of memory. Finally, you will see an animation created with the animation director. This is the sunstone sample that we will be looking at in this webinar. It's a uh, sandstone scanned with a high resolution uh, with the Thermo Fisher Heliscan Micro CT. Um, I would like to personally thank Dr. Kong from the ETH in Zurich for providing the rights to show the data. The data size is 135 gigabytes, and we aim to separate the grains for a further analysis and characterization. If you look at the data size of 135 gigabytes, this is the data size of the grayscale, which is 16 bits. But then, if you imagine that we are going to filter the data with a denoising filter and um, segment the grains and then separate the grains, uh, it ends up with a complete project size of 540 gigabytes, which is uh, quite, quite big. So you will see in the recorded video, the next uh, slide, uh, the process that we have been uh, putting in place to process, visualize, uh, and analyze this sunstone data. In this tutorial, we will see how Pergeos handles large data for pre-processing, segmentation, and post-processing. Let's have a look to the input data. This data is a three centimeter tall sandstone sample that has been acquired with a Heliscan micro CT. Thanks to Dr. Xiang Kong from the Institute of Geophysics at ETH in Zurich for providing the rights to show the results. On the left, we have the raw data, and on the right, the filtered data. We've used, as usual, a non-local means to remove the noise. The whole data is 135 gigabytes. We are looking here at the denoised sandstone sample. In order to apply the non-local means filter on the whole data, we have used a slab processing module that is available in the Explore workspace. In order to run the module, we have extracted a sub volume and created a simple recipe containing the non-local means filter, as you can see in the history window of the sub volume. When it comes to segmentation, we have segmented the rock sample into four phases, including the grains, which are mostly quartz, the dense minerals, which are mostly tolomite, some rutile inclusions that form very bright spots, and the micropores phase. We have been defining the markers on the subvolume and then applied a classical watershed on the gradient image. The phase contrast was avoided by using the high gradients. Once the recipe is computed, in order to apply it on the whole volume, we again open the Explore workspace and apply the slab processing module. As this is here based on a watershed, an overlap is needed. 50 slices is a good value for this data.
Now that the data has been segmented into multiple phases, we would like to separate the quartz grains into individuals for further analysis. Once extracted as a binary volume, the grains have been separated with the separate objects module and a recipe has been created in order to be applied by slabs. The Explore workspace will let us visualize the individual grains in 3D. We have here almost 300,000 individual grains. The data size is then impressive. It's about 270 gigabytes. To conclude, note that we are handling 540 gigabytes of data on a machine having only 32 gigabytes of memory, which is quite impressive. So you have seen the tutorial video that is also available on uh, YouTube in uh, the Thermo Fisher uh, purchase page. Now we are looking at an animation that has been created with the animation director. So the goal of uh, such an animation is uh, to show in a nice way the result of the analysis uh, once it's being computed by Pergeos. So what you see here is the different phases of the sandstone sample. And finally, we will focus on the grain phase to look at the separated grains. And just so you know, this video has been generated on, on my laptop, which has only 32 gigabytes of memory. So again, this is, um, if we look only at the visual, visualization, this is um, a very nice feature of Pergils to be able to visualize um, such a big amount of data.